In this video, I want to demonstrate how to fill all of these open edges that the ruled surface didn't get. So first I'm going to control tab back to my other part. I'm just going to rotate around. I'll start on this end, so I'll zoom in a bit. And I'm going to start by going to the surface ribbon and I'm going to create a lofted surface. So I'll select lofted surface. I'll select this surface edge and this surface edge and I'll right click to accept that. I'll do another lofted surface by selecting this edge and this edge, and I forgot to deselect this body, so I'm going to right click on it and delete it, and I'll say OK, and I've created those two lofted surfaces. To close these off, I'm going to use the filled surface command, so I'm going to say create a filled surface, and I'm going to select this edge and this edge, I'll right click and that one's good, I'll do it again, I'll come over here, say filled surface, I'm going to select these edges, Probably need to zoom in here shortly. I'm going to keep working my way around the part, selecting all the edges. Once I have them all selected, I should get a preview. And I don't have a preview, and that's because of this corner here. So I'm going to cancel this, and I'm going to have to go back, and I'm going to delete this lofted surface. I'll select it and push delete, and say yes. And we want to watch for that. And what happened is when I created the ruled surface, I missed this edge. So I'm going to select the ruled surface until I need to edit the feature. And I'm going to come back in here and get that edge I missed and right click to say OK. So we need to watch for that. And there probably be several instances or there could be several instances where you need to fix yours. So I'm going to go back now and I'm going to start with the lofted surface. I'm going to select this edge and this edge and I'll right click to accept that and I'll click in white space. Then I'm going to tell it, I'm going to make another filled surface. I'm just going to zoom in a bit and I need to select the edges all around this. So one at a time, I'll just keep working my way around. I need, may need to zoom in. We'll see in a second. And I have all the edges selected. I have a preview, so I'll right click to accept that. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to continue to work my way around the part, creating lofted and filled surfaces. So I'm going to go back to the lofted surface. I'll select this edge and this edge, right click to accept it, click in white space. Now I'll do the filled surface, I'm just going to zoom in, select this edge and this edge, right click to accept it. And I'm going to continue making these a lofted and a filled surface using that technique. Now that I've created these four lofted and four filled surfaces, I'm just going to continue to rotate around and keep doing this. Again, I'm going to zoom in here. I want to create another lofted surface here and here. Right click to accept it. Click on white space. I'm going to create a filled surface here and here. I'll right click to accept it. And then I want to rotate around and I want to look at what's next. Again, I want to create a lofted surface from here to here. And we can see I didn't select the surface as well, so I'll move that tab up. Now I have the preview, I'll say OK. We'll rotate around a bit, and next I need to create a filled surface. So I'll tell it to create a filled surface. Once again, selecting the edges, and I'll right click to accept it. If I zoom out, we can see that. And I have one last location to create a filled surface, and that's down here. And to create a filled surface, I need to be able to select entities or an entity edge. So to fill this last gap, I'm going to have to create an entity from here to here. To do that, I'm going to go to the drop down menu for curves, tell I want to create a curve through reference points, and I'll select this point and this point, these two vertexes. Make sure close curve is unchecked and say OK. Now I can create my filled surface. So it already has that selected. So then I can select my other edges here. Right click to accept it. And I just want to rotate around and make sure I haven't missed anything and that it looks good. Zoom out a bit and recenter it. And in the next video, we'll knit all these surfaces together and continue.